Eh? That's not something you see every day. No. I just didn't get why you would do this. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Kitchen Hark testing. Right Mrs B? Yes, I'm good. The series in which Mrs B and I both come up with a selection of hacks. Some work, tends to be yours. Yeah. Some don't. A lot don't. <laughs> and today, in the Wheel of Hacks, I've selected them. Which means... They're not gonna work. They're gonna be fails. No, they wait. I believe in you. Okay, so our first hack, coffee. Okay, let's go, let's go. Don't go over there. You know what you're doing? You're going over towards the coffee machine, aren't you? And it's right there. Yeah. And you're right. We do right. need that today. But we don't need the coffee machine to make coffee today. We just, it doesn't have to actually be coffee actually. It could be hot chocolate. We've got any cocoa powder. That might be a bit more authentic, a bit more on brand. Uh, yeah, we've got hot chocolate. Yeah. Make a hot chocolate. Yeah, please. What? Okay. You just say this is posh stuff. We can't use this on the camera. No, it's I want it for me. Stuff. I mean, I, I would have been easy if we just used cold gravy. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is the world's easiest gourmet topping for our hot chocolate, okay? Okay. It's, it's really easy. Yeah. We need marshmallows. Right. All right. Okay. Da -da 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 Chef's blowtorch. So far, I see nothing to do with the coffee maker. Forget about, forget about the coffee maker. Are we not using the coffee maker? Yes, but for something oh. completely different. What? I really Forget confused. about the coffee maker. You've made hot chocolate anyway. <laughs> Literally load it with marshmallows. Like just cover it, yeah. But what about the coffee maker? Now that's about as high as you can get it. Right, chef's blowtorch. Yeah. Toast the marshmallows. Okay, but they're gonna all melt together. That's what you want. You want them to all melt together as one big pile, one big raft of marshmallow. Oh my gosh, this is quick. <laughs> <laughs> du, du, du. Oh, it's burning. It is burning, mate. Well done, that's oh, a flame. <laughs> I was holding down that red button. I didn't need to. Oh, no, no. So get it nice and low. And hopefully you see they're expanding Ooh. a little bit. They're catching on fire. They are catching on fire. I don't know if this is working. What am I meant to be doing? It's supposed to make one big gooey marshmallow blob. Oh. So make sure you get every little edge. Okay. Every oh. nook and cranny. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it's it not CPR. Fire? I've just got burnt marshmallows, Barry. It's fine. How, you were meant to do this on top of a coffee? Well, I don't know, just a hot drink. I mean, you could microwave it. Wow, it's actually on fire. I told you. <laughs> In fact, I think we're burning it now. Yeah, we are burning um, it now. For the record, this was supposed to be one of my better ones. This is what's supposed to happen. We're going to turn this. It's going to be one big scoop of marshmallow, apparently. Uh, kinda. Kinda. I still don't know why you wanted to make it with coffee. <laughs> You're going to find this hack strange. This is a legitimate <laughs> hack that I saw, right? And it said, right. have you ever been in a situation where you've know. unfortunately got flour and rice in the same container. This is legitimate. That's what it said. Right. Right? So this is the solution. I've had to empty a bottle and dry it out fully. <laughs> uh, put some rice, okay? So there's rice in there yeah. and flour in a bottle. Right. So if you're ever in that situation, luckily, you can do this. If it's a glass bottle, it's gonna be a bit harder. Can I guess what we're gonna do? Yeah? Do you pierce oh. the bottle? Where's the coffee maker? <laughs> yeah. Do we pierce the bottle with a needle and then the flour pulls out. Yeah, we can just pour the flour out, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the rice out. Pour the rice out? Yeah, that's that's good size, it's solidly fur. You can't get it in. I can't. <laughs> it's quite tough. Where did my sewing box go? <laughs> Where did my sewing box go? <laughs> We're gonna knit a jumper. It's not like I can say. So I got a pin that works and it makes it look like a Google Maps bottle. The rice lives here. Have I just got to make lots of holes? In yeah, one make side? sure they're all on the same side of the bottle. Don't do it on both sides, otherwise, well, if this works, the flour will fall out, won't it? So we're kind of making like a sieve. Exactly. In case you're ever in a situation where you don't get flour and rice stuck in your sieve together, which actually could be more, no, no. 
would you, why would you ever do this? Day 123 of lockdown <laughs> hobbies. <laughs> why don't you pierce a plastic bottle with a pin? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's working. That's cool. Is it coming out? Yeah, yeah it's hard to see yeah. from that angle, but oh yeah. And why did you choose a silver bowl? Why did I choose a silver bowl? For as much reflection as possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, you can see the actual colour of the rice there. That's worked really, really well. And you could do it as a game. You could, kids. like a baby rattle. Couldn't you just pour, pour this whole thing in a sieve anyway? Yeah, but I think it's if you haven't got a sieve. He doesn't have a sieve. So whilst you were uh, doing the old needle hunt thing, mm. I got some garlic here, okay? Yeah. Now, when you grate garlic, what mm. happens to it? Stinks. <laughs> Yes. You yeah. tend to, if you're going to grate garlic, take it on that sort of nice sort of fine one there. And when you do grate garlic, it does get stuck in in, in yeah. grate, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not great. I have to say, I've never grated garlic. <laughs> no, you get me to do it, or there's a Barry Lewis gadget for that. Oh, we could test this. Hang on. Right, anyway, this is what you do. Right, I right. garlic. So yeah. you get your garlic. Yeah. But no, you don't get your garlic. I think you have to touch the garlic, do Well, I? you basically get yourself a Ziploc bag right and cloak it cloak the grater there you go so it looks like it's been back at the shop again you take your garlic and you go like that right but then you're getting all the plastic stuff onto the garlic you didn't know where that plastic's been <laughs> what are you on about you put food in them all the time oh i'm not putting any packed <laughs> lunch in now i don't know where it's been oh yeah that's so true but look what's happening right Look, you can just scrape that straight out. off, yeah? And you've got your garlic. That's good, right? Are you looking, yeah. That's good. It's supposed to stop it getting stuck inside your grater. See, See? so you, that I is understand. now off the grater. Your grater is clean. Yeah. That's, that's a good hack. That is a good hack. Yeah. It's now time for the coffee maker. What do you think is going in there? Well, there's either Skittles to the side. <laughs> it's not Skittles. Skittles or popcorn kernels. Is no, popcorn? neither of those. What? We're Looking. not putting the garlic in there. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes, come no, on. No. No. We are going to use this. Yeah. To make some dinner. That's why you bought the salmon. Oh, salmon in a coffee maker. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah, so this coffee maker, um, we haven't got any paper filters, so we're going to just have to go for this. But the the smelly stuff isn't going in that bit anyway. We're going to fill it up with water at the back like standard. Okay. okay. So let's get it filled up with water. Put the vegetables in there. I don't know if they'll all fit. I'll just put a few in, yeah? Yeah. The salmon is going to go in here with the main sort of canister thing, okay? Oh, it's going in there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought we were going to put salmon in there. <laughs> no, that would be disgusting. <laughs> I mean, not that this isn't, but... Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's all right then. <laughs> So what I was thinking was, because we want to sort of flavour it, um, you put a little bit of butter in there with the salmon, okay? And we probably might as well put some of that garlic in there as well. Oh, sure, look at that. Put two? Yeah, put two in there, go on. This is our dinner. So the butter goes in with the salmon, look at that! Right. Eh? That's not something you see every day. No! Look, we can just scrape that off and stick it in, in there. Uh, I felt like Doc and Marty right now, like telling her, like, when this hits 88 miles per hour, we're going to have some amazing dinner. Uh, honestly, so the water, just like a normal coffee machine, is going to warm up, and what would be coffee granules is going to go through and steam and work through the vegetables, and then it's going to end up in here with our buttery, salmony garlic. Okay? Is that, is that an oh, it's on. Right. There we go. Dinner's going to be ready soon. There we go. That is that water. It's going to cook, it's going to poach that salmon, it's going to melt the butter. You see that already? See that? We're making miracles happen. Yeah, I just didn't get why you would do this. Look at it, it's all getting steamed up in there. You actually you can start to see the bottom of the salmon changing as well. Shall we return to this? Okay. We're just getting ready for the next hack, uh, boiling up a big pan of water. But it looks like most of that hot water has passed through there now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the world's worst fish tank. <laughs> we could have put like a sock cube in there. Well, that is fish stock, isn't it, in a way? I don't even know what's going on in there, but there's some serious steam coming out of it, so hopefully that'll work. Yes. That was the most uncertain face ever. Um, so this other one, for the pan being hot, we yeah. want it simmering because we're going to make some egg noodles. Right. Now, the downside is, one, this could be messy, 
I okay. do think it could work. Yeah. But the other thing is the quantities were not on the actual hack. It just said bit of flour, bit of flour. and it was like four eggs. Right, and it became okay. like a smooth, you beat it together and put it in yeah. a Ziploc bag. So let's right. get to that stage. All right, cool. And now we'll add in the flour, keep whisking it to try and get the consistency, which was, I don't know, like it was quite thin. It was like a smooth kind of runny look and <laughs> I can't get the quantities. We're just gonna have to try and do our best. All right. Yep, happy all with right? that. I think, yeah, okay. looks, looks all right. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay. Well, it's fairly runny actually. But I think getting it smooth is quite critical. What's going to happen is the bag's going to be like this and you're going to pierce the bottom with a bamboo skewer, right. right? And threads of it is going to pour out into the boiling water and it's going to hopefully instantly make noodles. Okay. <laughs> it's like a fish at a fair. No, okay, right. Suddenly this bit feels really normal. <laughs> right, you ready? You've got to properly jab it. There we go. And keep going. That's it. Keep going. La, 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 la. It's making noodles. It's actually making it, move it around, move it around, that's it. That's it. Oh my God. Look at that. the most disgusting thing in the world. <laughs> I'm not gonna just... Yes, that's good. But it looks like it's merging oh, now it's now. Oh, it started really good, but now it's gone really gloopy. What's happened? I don't know. Right, quit while you're ahead. Okay. I can see some amazing noodles yeah. there. Yeah. And then there's like a weird island of custard. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. I just don't know how we're going to get it. You've got a real mix. That's really clever. Um, it's starting to boil over and it's gone really, really gloopy. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you do? I just left it for a bit. That's all you... Oh. That looks like brains. <laughs> looks like brains? Yeah. So is that a, 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 it's so mushy, look I at that. I thought it started so well. It looked awesome, the first few. I thought I sh maybe you should have stopped after the first few. It's not even cooked. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like rubbery flour. Nice. Oh, I was looking so good at first. It, it looked was. just like noodles, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Do you want to do a bad one? Yes. Let's finish with a bang. Okay, oh no. <laughs> We've sort of done something similar before and it failed massively. Right. Okay. We're going to make popcorn. Yeah. But Skittles are going in with it. God. And apparently it makes rainbow popcorn. Okay. Look, Skittles yeah. in oil. Yeah. You add the popcorn kernels. Right. Give it a little mix. Lid yeah. on. Boom. Ready? Wow. <laughs> they make that look so easy. They always do. <laughs> but see always how do. Let's see how easy it really is. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so we're gonna just push it around, get it covered in the oil. It goes on, and apparently that is, is gonna turn into delicious rainbow popcorn. The other time we did something like this, it was with Werther's Originals, and we put it all in, and it was supposed to like make toffee popcorn, and that failed massively. Yeah, I've got to be honest, it's doing something. Uh, Kinda. it's green. There's some green bits. Oh my gosh, it smells horrible. Oh, look. Oh, no, God. all the colours are down there. Oh, oh no, it's burnt. It's burnt. <laughs> it's burnt. Oh no. Let's have a look. That's such a shame. Oh gosh, can you sm Oh yeah, I can smell the burnt stuff now. Burnt sugar. Oh. Oh dear. But we're forgetting. <laughs> We still got the salmon. Hey, we got some dinner. Pour the majority of that away. Although I'm sure it is like a fish stock. Try and get that lid off. Oh, that wow. is poached salmon, isn't it? Yeah, should I get a plate? And the butter flavour in it as well, that we just washed away. Let's have Can a look at this. this. Yeah. Mm. It looks steamed. steamed it looks vegetables. all right. We might finish on a high here. I think we might. It's just like, what has this morning been? Oh, oh dear. Look at the state of this. We were saying, do we put more oil in? But that would have made it go even crazier. More Skittles, that would have created more sugar, which would have burnt it quicker. More popcorn, it just would have exploded out the bowl. You can see it's trying, can't you? Disgusting. Now, this one looks all right. No, that is disgusting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep, that's that's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> that's right up there with one of the worst things I've ever tasted, <laughs> for sure. I think you've even got a little bit of the pan on there. Oh, nice. A little bit of last night's dinner. Yeah. <laughs> We've done some good hacks on the playlist. There's a full playlist of this. Uh, so if you fancy having a barrel for now, put on your sweatband and check out the rest in the playlist. And do let us know any cool hacks you've seen on your social media platform of choice. Um, what was your favourite one today, Mrs B? You can pick next time. Okay, I will pick next time. Um, I did like the noodles until it didn't yeah. work. Yeah, <laughs> they looked amazing. The marshmallow one works, but yeah. uh, but I think the garlic one is actually yeah. fairly stonking they were, indeed. They were all quite, they were all unique. They were unique, but the one we haven't finished actually is the salmon the one. Salmon. Oh my gosh, that smells like the ocean. Please can I have some vegetables with my salmon. Well, I'm really impressed, that's cooked. It has worked, hasn't it? Some vegetables, sir. Yes, yes please. Come in your own personal little basket. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Right, now, have they cooked? Well, Let's um, get back onto the tripod and now uh, we'll have a look. Oh, just, oh, just to just... finish it off. That is medium rare. It's alright though, it's vegetables. Yeah. I've never had an al dente carrot before. The fish, al though. Dente carrot? That is super tender. Is it? Oh, the good. fish is phenomenal. Mm. Do you know what? I think you should put the vegetables in with the fish. Oh, yeah, that would work. And just too. let it cook all in there together. Yeah. And that would work. Yeah. That, that like this broccoli. Ah. I can eat you crunch. <laughs> I'm literally eating a tree. That was a good one. That was a good one. I think with a few tweaks, like say putting the veg in with the salmon, that would be mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, yeah. Or you could just make coffee in it. <laughs> You're growing bone in it. Got it? There's a bone in that, it's supposed to be boneless. They do put a little thing in small print. Although every effort has been taken to remove the bones, we can't guarantee this. Bloody, oh, bloody were they talking about salmon or bodies? <laughs> <laughs> there may be evidence. Goodbye. Bye bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. When you're alone and life is getting you know where you can Sorry. always go. I'm not gonna sing. <laughs>